In this video, you will see a tutorial of a servo torch which is smaller than other hand crank flashlight. It is so tiny that it can fit on your palm. This torch is capable of use 10 minutes provided that you charge it for 1 minute. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I modified an ordinary servo into a hand crank flashlight. So I started to make the servo torch by opening and desoldering all the wires which is connected to the motor and the potentiometer. After that I removed some things from the variable resistor so it can rotate 360 degrees. See this little thing? You have to remove that by using an anti cutter. After these steps I reassembled all the gears as well as the top cap. Now your 360 degrees continuous rotation servo mod is done. Then I took the bottom section and drilled right in the center so the wire can get through it. After that I screwed the servo and cut both of the side supports by using a hacksaw. I drilled two more holes so the capacitor's leg can get through it. This supercapacitor is 1 farad and 5.5 volt. I unscrewed the servo and soldered two wires to the servo's motor as well as the capacitor. Then I pushed the caps wire through the holes as well as the bottom section of the servo. I used super glue to hold the cap in place. Then I screwed the servo again. I used this rectifier to convert AC to DC. Then I sanded the rectifier as well as the servo and then glued them together. I used this 1.5 amp and 250 volt switch to turn on and off the LED. I also sanded that first and then glued that. And here's the reason why I sand before gluing anything. I'm not gonna read it out, but if you want, you can. I used a 5 mm white LED. When everything was assembled, I started to solder all the wires according to the circuit diagram. Now the last thing we need to do is to make a hand crank. For that I used a simple pin's bottom part. To make it comfortable to crank, I used a piece of paper, then glued that, and after that I sanded that. I took a servo arm and manually drilled that with a drill bit which is a little bit bigger than the screw that I'm gonna use. Then I used the screw to hold that in place. Make sure it's not too tight. Then I screwed the entire thing to the servo. Now the servo torch is done. Just for a capability test, I'm gonna charge it for one minute and test it that how long it will last. And now it's time to see. So far I'm pretty happy with this result because it can do much more than its size. Till then please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.